Hello and welcome in. I'm the coach, and you're watching Madden Ultimate Team. We've been waiting for this one all week, and the wait is now over. It's time to play ball. Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no on, run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They're led by the NFL's MVP in 2018 and also MVP of Super Bowl 54 in his fifth season. It's Patrick Mahomes. And what qualities really attracted Kansas City to move up to get Patrick Mahomes? We know it's the big arm. He got that from his dad, a former major league pitcher, but also has the moxie and the ability to move outside of the pocket and make any... Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So now the Lions go on offense in a great starting spot. They'll be led by the second-year man from the University of Alabama, Tua Tungavailoa. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Tua. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Looking to pass. Tua. Caught by Sneed over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now running the jet sweep with Benjamin. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. McPherson's kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3 0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. 
lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. A first down carry for Henry. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second down, they go again with Henry. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 33. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Derrick Henry. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, here's Henry. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. After the penalty, it's Henry. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Brian Flores learned under the master. He's going to go on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Caught on the slant. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Dolphins are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. Now here's Mahomes, able to get away, fighting through pressure. Touchdown, Dolphins! Devontae Adams, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one, drive number two.
number two leads it right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. It's complete to Snead. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. If it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So two quarters. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. We and we Here will we not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. It's complete right side to Benjamin, and he goes out right around the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Play action. Now it's Tua. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Tua going to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. But appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. Taking it about the 16. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Henry again on second down. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. 
sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They'll run on first down. Henry, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now Mahomes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard game. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man, it's Darren Warner. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. And now right out of the two minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. They'll run it again with Henry. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Derrick Henry, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, but from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they look like they were just in their base 3 4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3 4 5 between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14 3 ball game. A 10 play drive that time. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. They'll kick it away. Takes it at the 7. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So now the Lions down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Tua. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. He's got a man. It's Berkshire, the tight end. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. Yeah. 
Tonga Vailoa. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. But they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Henry, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, Quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers with a quick slant or something like that. A big pick up there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So where would all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. perspective though I think maybe they're saying hey we did what we needed to do kept this a one score game yeah without a doubt because they were able to bleed some time off the clock right put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet okay being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game well a good return up past the 30 well going into the final play of this game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you're wondering could it happen possibly even though we both knew it was a long shot 